Welcome to the Kai Koi Koi Education Network. You might be wondering, why is it called Kai Koi Koi? But history reveals that the pa was attacked and the people were left without food. And so they resorted to eating the koi koi berries, which are really bitter. And this story speaks of the determination and resilience of those who have gone before. And these are the very qualities that we aspire to in ourselves and in our children today. So the Kai Koi Koi Education Network started as one of the original Learning and Change Networks. This was an initiative of the Ministry of Education to allow schools to develop their own professional development instead of the projects that were being delivered. We thought, great, here's an opportunity to learn how to create a 21st century environment where our Māori students succeeded as Māori. Unfortunately, the Ministry wanted us to be limited to a curriculum area and so we chose writing because that was an area of need identified in our schools. So we set about a scoping exercise involving all stakeholders and what we discovered was that students were learning from each other, particularly in writing. They were asking the person next to them, how do you spell this or how can I make my writing better? And so this became our achievement challenge, learning together is empowering. As part of our involvement with the Learning and Change Networks, we visited a network of schools, Manaya Kalani, in Auckland. And here we saw a model of what we wanted to create within our schools. We saw students using one-to-one -one devices. These devices were being paid off by their parents at a mere $3.75 a week. We saw engaged students. We saw students who had the opportunity to learn anywhere, anytime, with anyone and their whānau to be involved in their learning. This is exactly what we wanted to create in our own schools. So we came back to our schools and consulted with all our stakeholders and it was agreed that this was the way forward for us. Now that created a huge amount of change. Change management was required of the leaders and a great deal of courage of the communities and the teachers to embrace this change. Teachers in particular had to learn about sites, blogs, Gmail, Google Docs, etc. And most of us knew nothing about that at the time. They went from classes where children used pen and paper to one-to-one -one devices. Huge change. And we all learned together. And so now, here we are, eight schools, and we continue to learn together. One of the benefits of belonging to the Kai Koi Koi Education Network is the PLD and collaborative learning involved for both teachers, principals and students. Each year our network begins with a teacher only day where guest speakers are invited to share their expertise relevant to our network. Throughout the term there are regular principal and lead teacher meetings. One of the priorities for us in these meetings has been receiving feedback from Auckland University's Wolf Fisher Research Centre and looking at how we can use this food feedback to further improve what is happening in our classrooms. Our network holds a once a term PLG session which provides the opportunity to address any identified needs. We also hold a termly, termly toolkit which provides opportunities for teachers to share and learn new digital skills to use with their students. I would also like to mention the EAST or writing moderation we have been involved in with writing the curriculum focus for our network, collecting accurate data across the network is a priority. As schools, we regular, regularly moderate our marking, but we also moderate as a network. This has provided excellent opportunities for our teachers to discuss and debate their marking with teachers across the network to ensure that our marking is consistent. I find collaborating with the kin teachers in schools you know you, you end up having really powerful conversations um, discussions about what's working in classrooms what's not what's effective um, what also I'm, I really love and appreciate the feedback um, the feedback and, and, I, and it helps me reflect on how I can be a better teacher in the classroom because everyone has differing experiences and um, really fantastic ideas. Just being a part of the Ken Trust Network has made given us more of a structured framework to uh, 
use technology in a more effective way? The other thing was the opportunity to visit schools in the Manai Kalani um, cluster in Auckland. It really gave us a great opportunity to see the possibilities and to see what it looked like in action. So it sort of shaped our thinking a bit more. Kaikohikoi Network has assisted us as teachers in helping our tamariki develop skills in critical thinking, communication, collaboration and creativity. For our students, we have a wider network that we can access as being in a small rural school, there are limited opportunities to access colleagues from other schools. Being involved in Kaikohikoi has given us added support and as a result, we have changed the ways in which we work alongside our tamariki. As a kura, the tamariki have benefited from being part of the Kaikohikoi network as they have more say in the decisions about their learning. They are given opportunities to take charge of the tasks and activities, even if they lack the necessary skills, as they have the tools to research what they need. Digital learning is important to me because I am engaged in my learning. When you are in a digital classroom, you learn to become more self-directed in your learning. You learn to become more independent and to manage your learning. You become more responsible for setting your own learning goals and you are able to work with your teacher to plan for your learning. In my digital classroom, I enjoy learning together with my friends. We can share our ideas in a Google Doc or Padlet. When you are in a digital classroom, your family, friends and community can become more involved and contribute to your education. For example, through school Facebook pages and student blogs.